Hi guys, welcome to the Dundee Township Park District series of videos we're putting out to keep you active. This segment of our class is going to be involving some balance work and some strength work and all you're going to need is your body for this. You won't need any other implements for it. The only thing you will need is a chair, all right? So if you want to bring in a straight back chair, all right, something that's not going to slide around so that you feel nice and safe when we use it, all right? So let's get going. Let's start with a nice deep breath, inhale up. And exhale. Good, nice and deep. And exhale, can you bring your hands into your heart and hold them here? Good, stay up tall. This part of you, you wanna keep pulled in, all right? I want you to shift your weight onto your left leg, lighten the load on your right, okay? So this way we feel like we've transferred our weight over a little bit and you have to balance a little more. Even if you find yourself doing a little bit of this with just one toe on the ground, that's okay. And always remember to put your foot down before you feel like you're gonna lose your balance, all right? So nice and light. And you can stay with this if you feel like you're doing a whole lot of wobbling on that leg, that's fine. If you feel a little more balanced and you got a little bit more, can you lift that toe off the ground? Maybe, maybe you gotta tap down. If you feel really well balanced and you wanna push your hands above your head, go right up and hold that. Maybe you don't feel so confident doing this. You can stay here. And you're gonna feel the lower leg moving around and wobbling. That's good. We're building a little strength in that leg. And release. Good, take another nice deep breath up. And exhale. Bring those hands into the heart again. Now this time, let's shift the weight over on the other leg. Lighten the load on that foot. You can stay on your toe. You don't have to lift it off the ground if you feel very wobbly here. When you're ready, if you want, you can lift that toe. Maybe you gotta put it back down. Please put it back down before you end up doing this. All right, so in here, lift it. And if you have a little more and you wanna go up, go ahead. That's up to you. And release. Good, another deep breath up. And exhale. Let's take our right foot and take a nice giant step forward. Now, doing this, you may have went, and that's okay. You can work with this right here. You can stay with this staggered stance. This is fine, you don't have to move anywhere. If you feel like you're wobbling around, then stay with it. If you feel pretty well balanced and you wanna up this a little bit, try a little more, can you bring that foot in front? Now we're standing on the balance beam and you could find yourself doing a little bit of this. And that's fine. And you can go ahead and use your arms to help counterbalance you. Do you feel real confident with this? Can you slide your foot back and put it in front of the other one so your heel toe? Maybe. You're gonna see, you're gonna start doing a little bit of this. Now you can stay in any one of those three positions. You can stay in the staggered stance, you can bring that foot over on the balance beam, or you can bring that heel up against the toe. Whichever one you're doing, I want you to take the, the foot in front, that same arm, and raise it up so your thumb is between your eyes. And now you're gonna look at your thumb and not up and around like this, all right? So, thumb between the eyes, look at your thumb. As soon as you do that, your balance is gonna become affected because you don't have that vision far away. You're looking up close and concentrating on an object a little bit closer. Now, if you're looking at your thumb and you start to notice yourself, look away. And when you're ready, look back at your thumb again. If you feel pretty confident, can you follow your thumb to the sky with your eyes? Again, this might be happening. And if you feel pretty confident, can you follow your thumb to the floor? With your eyes, not your head. 
and release your stance in your hand. How'd you do? Make adjustments to any one of those three movements that you need to do. All right, let's try the left side. So stride forward. Remember, you can stay at any of these stances, whichever one works best for you. You feel pretty confident here. You can bring that foot in front. So you're standing on a balance beam now. Again, you can stay here. You don't have to go anywhere with this. Can you pull that heel back to the toe? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Maybe you can only pull it a little way before you feel like you're doing a whole bunch of movement. And all that movement is fine. Work that balance, get better at it. If you feel confident, can you raise that hand up, put your thumb between your eyes and look at your thumb? Maybe for a few seconds you can, then you have to look away. And then you have to look away before you fall out of your stance. Can you follow that thumb to the sky with your eye? And let's lower it down to the floor. Can you follow it to the floor with your eye? Again, you might notice this is going on. That's okay. And back up and release. How did you do? Any of those stances. You can start with one and you can build on it. You can start with the staggered. You can go to the balance beam. You can pull the heel in. You can do any one of those. Just working and making that balance a little bit better. Deep breath up. And exhale. All right. You can choose which foot you want to start with. Let's put it in front. Now, maybe your front is here. That's up to you. Whichever you choose, we're going to bring the other foot around and we're going to walk heel toe. Maybe it turns into this and you got to do this. Okay. That's fine. Heel toe breathing, staying tall. Let's try to reverse it. Maybe your reverse goes here to the side. It's up to you if you can bring that foot around. It's a little bit harder to go backwards. So make sure you've cleared a spot for you to be able to move comfortably. Good. Let's try it again. In front. Do you feel comfortable doing this? You can do this. Good. And then reverse it. Reversing's a little harder. So if you feel comfortable doing this, that's fine. You can step back like this. Good. And release. How did you do? At any point you feel like, oh, I'm off balance. I'm not doing that great at it. And that's to be expected for some exercises, but you're only gonna get better at it by practicing it. This is something you can do every day. We all have kitchen counters in our house or somewhere's a counter that you can lightly use to help you with that balance. Okay, knowing it's there if you need it, lifting that foot off the ground. Maybe you put your hand on the counter and you walk with your hand alongside so you can slide it if you need it. All right? Every day, some sort of balance work. Also, it helps you also vision-wise being able to see a little bit better too. So deep breath up. And exhale. Okay, you guys got that chair, right? You're gonna need that now. So your chair is gonna be on a, something that's not gonna slide around. So preferably not a, um, a slick tile floor with uh, just some shorter legs on it or whatever so that they don't slide so much when you use it. Something that's gonna stay in position. We're gonna stand in front of the chair, all right? Pull your abs in, lift your sternum or your chest to the sky. When we do squats, that's where we're gonna go now. At no point in time are you gonna bow at me, okay? This part of you always stays up. This part at the hips is where we're gonna move from. So I want you to think about taking the bones in your behind, pushing them back, okay? And heading towards the seat of that chair. Do you make it? That's fine, it's up to you. If you don't, don't worry about it. You get as close as you can. And then we're gonna come up, okay? So we're gonna have that seat. 
Maybe you sit, maybe you don't, and you're gonna come back up. If you have a really good range of motion and you don't need that chair, you can step away and you can sit down into your squat and up. All right, always remember, tail's going back. My knees are staying behind my toes and I'm coming up. So at no point would you squat and send your knees forward and your heels come off the ground, all right? So up tall, tail back, look for that chair and up. Maybe you find it, maybe you don't. Maybe your squat stops here, right? Sit back, hard on the heels, light on the toes. Imagine you have some saltine crackers and we put them underneath your toes. You don't wanna smoosh those crackers, right? So you're gonna sit back on your heels, keep those crackers intact. Stay up tall and sit back. Good, now let's bring those hands to our shoulders. All right, we're sitting back and let's press up as tall as we can. Let's sit back. So now we got a multi-joint movement going on here. Good, sit back and up. Sit back. Are you breathing? Sometimes we forget, we get so involved in concentrating on what we're doing, we forget to breathe. Our body's pretty good about taking care of that for us. But let's think about it. When do you inhale, when do you exhale? Don't get concerned, just do it. Sit back, press up. Good, sit back, press up. Can you do one more? Sit back and press up and release. Whew. Give a little shake, how'd you do? Maybe you did them all. Maybe you only did three, maybe you only did five. It's up to you how many you did. You know your body and how well you can work at it, okay? Let's bring those hands to our thighs, okay? Now the knees are relaxed, they're not stiff, they're not gonna bend, okay? They're just relaxed. Hands on your thighs, we're gonna lead with that tail out. All right, so if you did have a tail, nice long tail, you're gonna push that tail out behind you and we're gonna to head to the floor. You can slide those hands down your legs and bring it back up, nice and tall. Can you slide those hands down your thighs to the floor, pushing your tail out? Now, depending on what kind of flexibility you have in the backs of your legs, you may be able to go a little bit further, all right? but don't bend your knees because now you went back to a squat, all right? So knees relaxed, forward, tail out, and up. How far forward do you go? It's your back. It's the backs of your legs and your flexibility, so you decide. Maybe you need to stop right here and use your hands a little bit of help. That's fine. Forward, tail out, and up, forward, tail out, and up. Can you keep this part of you nice and flat? I know it's hard, we wanna round over. Try to keep yourself tall, push your tail, head towards the floor. Good, push the tail, head toward the floor. You got two more in you maybe? You got one more in you? And up, Whew, how'd you do? Work the low back, work the backs of the legs. So the previous exercise was squats, correct? So we were working here and we flipped it around and we went to the back side. So let's go right back to the front of these thighs again. This is where your chair is gonna come in handy also. You can use it as a friend to hang on to, okay? So let's start by taking this right leg and sending it back onto the toes and go big, okay? Even if you're not gonna have a big movement, go big, all right? Keep this in, all right? It's all about the back knee now. Can you send that back knee toward the floor? And up. Here's the chair to help you with your balance because remember, this is a staggered stance. It's gonna affect our balance. So here's that chair if you need it. Sending that back knee towards the floor. I don't want you to think it about the front knee going forward. I want you to think about the back knee faking a kneel, okay? You're gonna fake the kneel. Maybe it stops here. Maybe you stop here. 
Now, if you're really strong, please don't touch the ground. All right, and up. Send it down and up. Maybe you don't need that chair. Okay. Good, maybe you like to have a little hands out for your balance, that's okay. Sending that knee to the floor. Forget about the front knee, okay? Worry about this one heading down, because this one will naturally bend and come with you. I just don't want you to slide forward like this, like you're running, like you're getting ready to start a race. Back knee to the floor and up. Do you still have this in? Oh, there's so much going on, sometimes you forget about this part. You can hold it in. And when I mean hold it in, you're bringing your navel in toward your spine. I don't mean holding your breath. Okay, good. Stay up. Can you do two more? Can you do one more? And release. Whew, that one's tough. You may have felt it from all the way at the ankle, all the way up to the thighs. Excellent, let's switch sides, okay? This time, let's send that left foot back or whichever side you're on. Send that foot back, go big onto the toes if you can. Now many of us have toe issues that don't allow us to bend at the toe too much. So you can go ahead and put that foot flat if you need to. Feet straight ahead, okay? Start here, in, ready? It's about the back knee, and down. Where do you go? Maybe just here, right? Maybe just here. Here's your chair. Now it's there to kind of help you a little bit don't rely on it to do the work. So don't get here and push yourself back up. Okay, here and down. Do you have a little more? And up. Keep it in. Good. How close does that knee get to the floor? That's up to you. Because wherever you go with it, you have to come out of it. Okay, so send that knee down and up. Are you breathing? Do you need the chair? Do you like having a little help with your balance? Maybe checking in every once in a while? Can you do two more? How about one more? And let's bring it up. Whew, go ahead and give them a shake. How'd that work for you? Did you feel it in the thighs? Did you feel it in the lower leg? Maybe through the foot, depending on how tight you are through the foot. Now, we, went, we started to the front, we went to the back, we went back to the front. Let's go back to the back side. Now this time we're gonna use our chair to help us with our balance because we're gonna be on one foot, okay? So here's the chair. It's just gonna help us a little bit with our balance. If you don't need it, don't worry about it. You wanna challenge yourself, go ahead. Just know it's here, all right? Let's shift our weight over onto, pick a leg, it's up to you. All right, keep this in, all right? We're gonna take your opposite leg, okay? and we're gonna lift it up to the rear, okay? When you lift your heel up, make sure it's the heel coming back towards your rear and not your knee coming up in front. We don't wanna shorten here, or we, we, we wanna lengthen this area and shorten back here. So try to keep your knee that you're lifting with, even with your stationary leg, all right? So squeeze up to the rear and gently put it down. Squeeze up to the rear and down, and here's your chair if you need it. Squeeze up and down. Good, squeeze up and down. Chair if you need it, up and down. Make sure those knees are staying next to each other. Don't let that knee sneak up like this because you're going to those strong muscles here. They wanna take over. Stay back here, pull that heel to your rear. Now, do I expect your heel to get to your rear? No, but you wanna go in that direction, okay? And maybe your lift is just here. That's fine. What do you have? Good, lift that heel up, squeeze the back of that leg. Now, sometimes when you squeeze a little too hard, you get that Charlie horse feeling. Don't squeeze that hard. Heel and release. Squeeze up and release, good. Now, do you have the chair? Okay, if you do, let's put the opposite arm down. Let's try to work your balance a little bit, okay? As your heel comes up, can you curl the hand up? Let's do two things at once. 
Curl up. Good. Curl up. Here's a chair if you need it. Curl up. Good. Bring that hand up. Bring that leg up. What do you notice is happening on this leg? It's getting tired. Yes, it's supporting your body weight. So that's a good thing because we're doing a little bit of an isometric contraction on this leg while this one's going through a workout. Good. So curling up. In. Breathe in. Can you do two more? Up. And last one. And release. Woo! Go ahead and shake out those legs. Could you feel this leg standing in one position, taking all of your weight while the back of this leg was going to work? Let's switch it. So here's the chair if you need it. You can stand behind, okay? Opposite leg now from what we previously did. Make sure that knee does not cross in front, all right? Keep that leg behind, bring the heel up, and release. How close does that heel get to your behind? That's up to you, all right? Squeeze up and down. Maybe it's right here. Now, some of us have knee issues also that don't allow very much for range of motion. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna do whatever range of motion you have, all right? And you wanna try to keep that. We don't want it to get worse, all right? So bring that heel up. Here's your chair for balance if you need it. This is in. Can you add that arm? Squeeze up and release. Squeeze up. Maybe what happens is this. Okay, sometimes it's hard to coordinate two efforts at once. And that's fine. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Chair if you need it, squeezing up. Heel up, palm comes up. Now what you can do at home, if you want to add a little bit more to your workout, a really good thing to use is like a, maybe an old bottle of sorts. You can fill it with whatever you want, sand, gravel, you can leave water in it if you like, and you can use that as a weight, okay? So maybe if it's too much full, you take a little bit out and add it when you're ready. Squeeze up, good, squeeze up. What's going on here? Is it getting tired? Is this getting tired? Can you do two more? Squeeze. How about one more? And release. Whew. That's it. Shake them out a little bit. How you doing? So we've gotten the legs pretty much worked out a little bit here. Let's do a little bit of calf while we're at it. This is in and we're up. Can you raise up on your toes? Some ankle issues, man, it's hard sometimes to range of motion to push up on those toes. And sometimes with toes, we have so many issues with those, it's very difficult to get up. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna move as much as you can. You wanna try and maintain what you have. So you're pushing up as much as it'll let you move, right? Maybe it's just a little lift. Maybe you have to do one foot up at a time. That's okay. Maybe the movement is really small. Maybe it's really big. Going up and down. Whatever it is you're doing, pull it in here. Keep it lifted here. If I came by and put some books on the top of your head, all right, so you're gonna stay tall, lift up. Good, up. Do you need the chair? Yeah, for this one you probably will or a counter, whatever you might have close by. There you go. I like to do these sometimes when I'm standing at the counter doing, you know, preparing kitchen duties or whatever, and just go up and down a couple times. Brushing my teeth in the morning, I like to do this a little bit. Just moving my legs around before you get going. This is in, pushing up. Good, maybe it's one foot. Standing tall, those books on your head. Can you do one more? And release, good. Give them a little shake. How'd that go for you? Could you feel your calf muscles go to work? If you walk a lot for exercise, that's, that's a really good exercise for you to do. Maintaining a nice range of motion in those ankles. 
Good, let's come behind the chair. You're gonna need this for balance, okay? Got your abs in, you're behind your chair. Shift your weight over, pick a leg, it's up to you. Whichever leg you're not standing on, we're gonna bring that foot off the floor on the opposite side. And when I bring that foot off the floor, I make sure my toes are straight ahead, okay? We're gonna to wanna to do this, okay? Let's fight, let's fight and keep those toes straight ahead. Pull your abs in, stay up tall, you're using your chair. Can you lift your heel away and bring it back down? Can you lift your heel away? Don't let your toe veer out, so don't do this. Then you move to this muscle here. All right, let's stay here. Lift it away. If you find your toe has a mind of its own and it wants to turn out like this, how about if you give me a little turn in and lift the heel? That way you stay right here in that small muscle in the rear. Pulled in, it's tall, books on the head. Good, lifting away. So this is gonna get tired here and again, the leg we're standing on, it's getting tired also. Breathe. Nice and slow and controlled. Let's not throw the leg up, okay? Control the movement, keeping that toe straight ahead. Good, lifting away. Now, can we add the arm, do you think? Lift to the side too and down. Lift to the side too. This just makes us think a little bit. It probably won't tire your arm out too much because what's happening is your lower body's already getting tired. Maybe you only lift this far with your arm. That's up to you. Good, can you do three more? Don't lean, don't lean when you get tired. Stay up, two, one more. And release, Woo. can you feel that hip and from just standing on it and this one from going through the work? Switch sides. Weight's gonna take, your opposite leg's gonna take the weight now. Toes straight ahead, in and lifted. Lift away and down, good. Again, does your toe have a mind of its own? Maybe turn it in a little bit. Going right into the hips, stay up tall. Breathe, here's the chair. Maybe your lift is a little bit smaller. Maybe it's here. Good. Can you add the arm? Do two things at once. Maybe you lose your balance. That's okay, when you're ready, reset, lift away. Good, keep this in, stay lifted. Breathe every once in a while is good. How about two more? How about one more? And down, whoo, you wanna go like this, don't you? That's okay, go ahead. Good, that's it, stretch that out. Let's come behind the chair. I'm gonna have you grab the back of your chair and I want you to walk back away from it, pushing your tail out behind you as far as you can push it. And let's walk it back up. Good. Take a deep breath, exhale, and walk it back. Push that tail out as far as you can push. And walk it back up. Good, again. Send those feet back, push that tail. Nice stretch to the back of the legs, nice stretch to the glutes or the muscles in the behind, a nice stretch for the shoulders. And let's walk it back up. Excellent, take a nice deep breath up. And exhale, good, take a nice deep breath up. And exhale, let's have a seat in our chair. Let's sit on the edge of the chair because we're so excited to be here. 
right on the edge. Tighten up your abs. So if somebody walked up to you and said, I'm gonna punch you in the stomach, okay? You're gonna tighten up because you're gonna prepare for it, right? So I don't mean, again, I don't mean to suck it in. All right, just tighten up, good. Let's extend our hands out to the front. Let's do a little ab work, okay? So what I want you to do is with a nice tight abs, I want you to slowly start working yourself to the back of your chair. Does your chair have a back on it? And let's bring ourselves back up again. Good. And let's just lower ourselves back. And bring ourselves back up again. Now really gotta breathe. Don't hold your breath. And let's release, take it back. And up, are your shoulders getting tired from holding your hands up? You can put them down. And up, good, tighten here. Send yourself back in your chair. And up, good, send yourself back in your chair. Now, if you feel the back of your chair, just know that it's there. Don't lean into it, so don't let go and fall back. All right, bring it back up. Good, as you head back, you're gonna feel that back chair. And up, good. You can put your hands down. And up, good. The whole time you're tightened through the middle, holding it tight. Can you do two more? Send it back. Can you do one more? And up, all right. Can you go forward and hug your thighs? It's up to you, it's your spine. If you feel like you can hug your thighs, go for it. Or you can just stay up, take some deep breaths. And we're gonna bring it up. Go ahead and lean back in your chair. Okay, tighten up your abs. Don't just hang out. All right, keep yourself lifted. Bring your knee up. Can you give your knee a nice hug? While you're here, you wanna roll that ankle a little bit. And let's reverse it. And release. Can you bring the other leg up? Give it a nice hug. And rotate that ankle. Try to keep the movement at the ankle and not the knee. All right, so keep this quiet and just let the movement become from the ankle. And reverse. Maybe the movement's not so big. Maybe it's a little movement. Maybe it's big. And release. Go ahead and push yourself back up. Let's extend the heel to the front, toe to the sky. Let's keep the knee not stiff and straight, but don't let it bend too much, okay? Toe up, let's head towards that foot. Now when we go towards the foot, I don't want you to think that your nose is coming forward towards your knee. Stay tall, make the movement come from the hips heading out over that leg. And you should feel a stretch to the back of the leg. And ease up, let's switch. Heel out in front, toe to the sky, and let's head forward. Again, heading forward out of the hips, not out of the spine, all right? So big out and over. And up, all right, nice stretch for the back of the legs. Let's bring our hands to the shoulders, all right? Keep this in, even though we're seated, we still wanna sit tall, all right? Press those hands up and out to the side 
and all the way down. Okay, let's push those hands up. Now maybe they only go to here. Maybe one only goes so far. And out to the side and down. All right, press up. And out to the side and down. Now you're gonna make this movement as big as you can. All right, make this movement as big as you can. Good. And up. Good, now leave those hands facing forward, okay? I want you to imagine you're lying in the snow, okay? Let's make some snow angels with our arms. So up, thumbs together, and down. Now maybe those thumbs don't come together. Maybe you have this. Whatever range of motion you have, making that big snow angel all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Lift, breathe, and one more time, all the way up. And let's hold to the side with our thumbs up, okay? From here, your sternum is gonna go forward, your shoulder blades are coming together behind you. So pinch the shoulder blades, pushing the sternum forward. So squeezing those shoulder blades behind you. And release, good, all the way up. Let's stop halfway, chest forward, and squeeze those shoulder blades together. And release, good. Let's bring our hands up in front. Imagine there's a wall right in front of you. You're gonna put your hands on that wall. Now, will your fingertips get straight up and down, or do they feel like they're going through the wall? That's up to you, okay? Push those fingertips straight up to the sky, and know that the wall's there, like you're gonna push that wall over. Sit tall, abs in, without bending your elbows. Here's the challenge, guys, without bending your elbows. Can you pull away from that wall? And release, push the wall over. Can you pull away from that wall without bending your elbows? Because we wanna do this, right? Let's try to keep them straight toes or fingers to the sky, squeeze back away as far as you can and push back against that wall. Back away and push. So let's go from the side. So if my hands are against the wall, I pull back away and I press. And I pull back and I press. So I'm bringing my shoulder blades together without bending my elbows, right? So push against the wall, squeeze back, and again, good postural exercise. Good, one more time, and release. Whew. Give those arms a little shake. Those are tough, aren't they? Hands down alongside, navel's in. Let's lift to the side, and your elbows are gonna be slightly bent. I don't want you to look like you have cheerleader arms, okay? Here, just relax. Down and up. Down and up. No higher than your shoulders with your hands, okay? So we don't wanna go up like this, especially in this plane with our hands where they are. So just to the height of your shoulders and down. Just to the height of your shoulders. Are you still sitting tall? Because sometimes we forget, we concentrate on what we're doing that our posture gets a little off. And we start leaning in a little bit. Head starts falling down, right? Sit up nice and tall. Lift to the side. Good, lift to the side. Let's lift to the side and hold. There's a little bit of water. Can you pat the water? Just pat the water. Don't splash, all right? Nice little pat in the water. And release, 
Good. Can you lift it up? Little pat on the water. And release. Again, up. Good, pat the water. And release. Let's lift to the front. Can you lift those hands up front? And down. Now maybe one doesn't come all the way up. Again, where does it go? Good. Lift up, stay seated tall. Lift up, seated tall. Nice breathing. And up. And up. Can you do two more? Up. And last one, up. And release. Give them a little shake. You feel those shoulders working on those, yes? Excellent, bring one arm across, give it a nice hug. And release and switch, bring that other arm across, give it a nice little hug. And release, good. Just let your hands hang down alongside of you. Sit up tall abs are in and I want you to think that your shoulders right now are right up above your hip bones many of us kind of sit like this all right sit up tall shoulders above the hip bones let your hands hang right down out of your shoulders when we're focused forward because gravity's pulling us down we have a tendency to let everything come in like this all right so lift up open up Let's see if we can get our ears over our shoulders, all right? Because sometimes we're a little bit headed forward like this. All right, so we're lifted here. Can you bring your head straight back? So if you're out here, you kind of go, ew, and you pull back. Ears above the shoulders. Your nose is parallel to the ground. It's not lifted to the sky. All right, hands down. So we got our ears stacked on top of our shoulders, stacked on top of our hips, and arms alongside. Feet flat on the floor. Can you give me a 90 degree bend in your knee? We wanna sit like this sometimes, don't we? Because then we feel grounded to the floor. All right, like we, got, we can move easier. Let's bring it out here and let's rely on our middle body to hold us in space, okay? Knees above the ankles or like 90 degrees. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, lifting the chest. And exhale. Good, one more time, nice and deep, inhale. And exhale. All right guys, thanks for tuning in and watching me today. My name is Rita, I work for the Park District Teaching the Senior Exercise Program.